Hi everyone, my name is Goro Fujita. I'm super excited to be with you guys here today. I'm an art director at Facebook working on Quill. Quill is a VR painting and animation app that allows you to create your own narrative experiences in VR. Today, I want to talk about storytelling and how you can use Quill to bring your own ideas to life. And what better place to do it than in VR? So let's dive right in. All right, now I'm in Quill. And um, since man first painted on the cave wall, storytelling has evolved into numerous different types of shapes and forms. So we have, for instance, movies, where it's a fixed frame and the audience sees exactly what the director wants them to see, and it's super entertaining and easy to digest. Then there's theater. Similar to movies, there's a fixed frame, but it is dimensional, and then there's a live aspect to it, but still the audience will see exactly what the director wants you to see. And then there's immersive theater, a new type of storytelling where the audience becomes the uh, camera. Typically, you walk around freely, or at times you have a guide that leads you through the experience while staying in character. And then there's VR. Similar to administrative theater, you can move around freely with six degrees of freedom, but you're not tied to real life constraints, which opens up whole, a whole new world of possibilities in the area of storytelling. And that's what excites me about this new medium. It's not movies, it's not theater, it's not immersive theater, it's VR. It stands on its own. And being able to define a new medium is super exciting. But it doesn't end there. VR is also super efficient for creation. And let me show you how quickly you can bring your ideas to life using Quill. So right now I'm going to create a new file. And then I'm going to start choosing a background color here, something like this. And then I'm going to choose a color for the ground and start painting the ground, um, maybe something like this. And let me just duplicate it around a few times, just like this. And then duplicate it another time. And maybe I'm just going to duplicate this whole thing again. And this is my ground. Let me move this into the center. And then I'm going to use the grab tool to add some terrain to it. Right? So maybe there's some hills. So this is like an idyllic scenario. Um, and maybe there's some um, hills in the background. and then. Um, I'm going to also colorize it um, with a colorizer tool to bring different color variations into the terrain. So you can actually see the plane changes and stuff like that. Perfect. This looks good. And then I'm going to create a new layer and work on a barn. So um, let, let me choose a color here, maybe something more reddish. This, this looks good. And I'm going to create a barn, maybe something like this. And then um, for the roof, I'm going to do something like this. this. Good. And then um, we also need the roof. So let me paint the roof. This is good. Let me adjust this. And then move it over. And you know, I can eyeball it, but maybe he has also like a storage area or something when I say he is like the farmer, right? Okay, so um, let me put the storage area here. And then um, I will also do like a little shadow here, indicate that there's light. Um, and I do that by just darkening this side a little. So this looks pretty cool, right? So now I'm going to work on um, some windows. So let me do the windows here. Something like this. Um, duplicate, duplicate. Bring this down and maybe move it over here. Move another window over here. Maybe another one over here. And then I can do the barn doors. So let me do something like this. Boom. Boom, and this is the barn door. Okay, so now um, let me move this whole barn up a little so I can see more. And I can um, add a little bit of um, storage stuff here. I don't know what he has, you know. I just indicate detail. It doesn't need to make perfect sense here. And then um, I'm going to select this and scale it down. And let me see the terrain. And maybe his barn is right here behind the hill. 
something like this. Okay, this is looking good. Let me push it down a little bit more. Okay, and then um, I need to work on a fence. So for the fence, I'm gonna create uh, just a line like this here and duplicate it a few times. And then I will have the horizontal lines going like this. And then I'm going to basically place um, place these fences around the barn. This is where the farmer keeps his sheep, right? So they can go up the hill. And like I said, I'm not going to be like crazy detailed here, um, but maybe he has some posts, some stuff sticking out here. And just adding a little bit more detail. Okay, this is good. Now I need some trees. Some vegetation is important, right? So I'm going to create uh, trees. Um, let me draw the tree trunk here and maybe um, some canopy. Uh, I'm going to choose a color like this. This color looks good. Okay, so let me just make sure the tree looks good from all angles. And then I'm going to take it and duplicate it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see that I'm rotating the tree as I'm duplicating. So basically um, that way I can um, make sure it looks different every time. And now what I'm going to do is like I'm adding a little bit of color dodge and burn here, color dodge to indicate some lighting here. This looks really cool. And then uh, lastly, what I'm going to do is I choose the background color here and then I paint a little bit over the other trees here in the background and that will make them look like they're like um, in, in haze or something like that, right? So that's really cool. It's like a deaf, deaf fog fake that fog. Then I'm going to create 24 frames here and use the nudge tool to simulate the wind gusts going through these canopies. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, this looks good. Okay, and then maybe with a grab tool I can also add a little bit of um, a little bit of character here and you know making a little bit of different motion here and you see like this is like the trees are like blowing in the wind this is looking really good um, then at the same time i want to um, maybe shorten the brush duration here and animate some wind gusts you know like cartoony wind gusts going through this scene something like that you know, like I have, haven't made these sounds, um, effect sounds since I was a kid, you know, like when I used to draw, I used to do those sounds. But a quill kind of makes me do this again because it's like so fun to create in this, right? So this looks pretty cool. Uh, let me turn on, um, turn up the, uh, the brush duration a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna choose the color here close to the grass and then I'm gonna simulate like wind gusts going through like long grass right so this is like all gonna create an illusion that there's like grass blowing in the wind um, this is like a really cool effect I like to use you know and then you can create like you know when wind goes like through those giant grass fields, you know, um, it almost looks like the ocean. And this is what I'm trying to like um, simulate here. And here also there's an opportunity here where the, where the um, fence is, I can really um, emphasize the grass going wild, right? So this is starting to look really cool. And maybe I have like some darker elements to really create the contrast. If I turn off the wireframe, you know, you can see that it looks really, really cool. So here you can see um, that the grass is like working really nicely now. Um, what I forgot for the barn is like I wanted to have a chimney. Um, let me quickly add a chimney here. Um, boop, this is enough. And maybe I'm gonna duplicate it here. And then I'm gonna also darken one side. So there we go. So this is my chimney now. Uh, and then um, what is a scene without characters, right? So let me uh, create some characters here um, just really quickly. I have to be really quick. So this is like the snout. This is like ears, right? And then I'm going to select this all, duplicate it, uh, move it up a little. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color that way. Um, 
you see some lighting and maybe this is the eye and then maybe this is the pupil here um, let me put the eye here and then another eye here and then I'm going to take the color of the eyes and this is the body of the sheep so we have some cool sheep so let me turn on the wireframe here so I can see what I'm doing um, I prefer the other wireframe so there we go and then I'm just gonna move it up and colorize it a little bit just to indicate some lighting there we go this is like a decent sheep and then um, he's holding on to a fence or something flying <laughs> fighting <laughs> holding on to his dear life <laughs> so this is like a really cool sheep here uh, let me make sure to scale the head a little bit down maybe this ear as well and then um, let's put him to scale so this is about the right scale for the sheep maybe he's holding on to these bars here and then i'm going to create also 25 frames 25 frames 24 frames should be sufficient and then i'm going to let him be like wow Okay, he's holding on for dear life to this post. And then what I'm going to do is like maybe he's holding on to this post. Whoa! And there's like maybe a smaller sheep holding on here and maybe one more here. And then maybe uh, there's one at the chimney, right? So we have one holding on to the chimney. This is cool, but you see that they're like all moving at the same time. So um, in this case, I can just quickly offset them all um, in timing. So basically they will not move at the same time. I merge them all and now you see that the sheep are like flying around uh, in an asynchronous rhythm. And there you have it. It's a story moment, the uh, stressed out sheep in the storm. And um, now you could add sound to it and make it super immersive and take it further into the next scene. Haven't seen this. Imagine what you could do in a few hours or even days. And now you can share your own quill creations directly to Oculus TV and share your ideas with the world. There's already a ton of amazing content out there, so make sure to check it out to get inspired. We have a rare chance to contribute to a new art form. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one sitting on the front porch, talking to your grandchildren, saying stuff like, you know why everybody's using this trick in their VR stories? It's because I came up with it. Wouldn't that be cool? Thanks, guys. Bye.